مرحبا. Okay, in this video, we want to discuss briefly a generalization of the notion of union and intersection. So we discussed what is the union of A and B. So we have two sets. We compute, we co uh, construct the, a new set, which is A union B, which is the set of elements which are in A or in B. Now we want to generalize this idea to take the union of any collection of sets, whether a finite collection or infinite collection. Okay, so let me say, uh, how would we define the union? So the union of, uh, sorry, okay, the union of a collection of sets. So suppose you are given sets, 10 sets, 100 sets, or infinitely many sets, and you want to compute its union. This union is the set which contains precisely those elements which belong to at least one set in the collection. Okay, so what, let's first consider the finite case. So what is, suppose you have n sets. So A1 is the first set, and I want to take union the second set, union the third set, and so on, union the nth set. So you have n, uh, n sets, and you want to compute their union. What is the union? This is the union of this collection of sets, is the set which contains precisely those elements which belong to at least one set or more in this collection. So this is the set of all objects X, such that X belongs to at least one of them. So either X belongs to, to the first one, or it belongs to the second one, or, and so on, it belongs to, or X belongs to the last one. Okay, so this is a disjunction. For this to be true, we need just one to be true. Okay, so if uh, if you have this is a one, this is a two, this is a three, this is a four, then the union of uh, these sets is F, this element is in the union because it belongs to to a one, and this element is in the union because it belongs to a three. This element is in the union because it belongs to a two and a three. Okay, so we collect all the elements which belong to at least one set in your collection. Okay, so this is this is a, a1, union a2, union a3, union a4. Okay, now uh, let's, let's see uh, what, what happens when we have infinitely many uh, sets in the collection. So suppose, let me now use red. Suppose you, your collection has a1, a2, a3, and so on, infinitely many sets, a100, and so on. You are given infinitely many sets, and then we want to compute their union. We denote this by saying a, sorry, the union of ai, where i ranges from 1 to infinity. Okay, this is just notation. This is the union of and another notation is the union of AI, where I belongs to the positive integers. Remember what are the positive integers? They are a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So the index here, I, starts with 1 and keeps growing. Okay, this is a notation. How would you define this set? What is the union of all of these? This is the set of all objects X, such that X belongs to one of them. So maybe it, it belongs to A3, maybe it belongs to one A100, or A225, I don't care. All what we want is to find at least one set which, X con uh, which contains X. So this is the set of all objects X such that there exists an index I in the index indexing set, our in which is the positive integers, such that X belongs to AI. Okay, so we are saying uh, this is the membership condition for the infinite union. You collect all elements which satisfy this property. That is, you can find some set AI which contains X. Okay, so again, uh, the definition is this definition that the union of any sets is the set which contains the elements which belong to at least one of the sets of in your collection. Okay, so this is for the union. Uh, now let's see what happens for the intersection. 
okay now for the the intersect let me let me uh, edit this the intersection of a collection of sets is the set which contains precisely those elements which belong to every set in the collection okay so i'll fix them here okay the intersection of some collection of sets you are given uh, 10 sets 20 sets uh, 1 million sets infinitely many sets their intersection is what it is the set which contains precisely those elements which belong to every set in the collection okay so suppose uh, just a second Okay, so suppose you have uh, this, these four sets, say, this is the first set, this is the second set, this is the third set, and this is the fourth set. So you are given A1, A2, A3, A4. What is the intersection? The intersection of all of them is the collection of elements which belong to every set of them. Okay, so I think it will be this region, only this region. Okay, because this region, every element in this region is contained in A1, and it is contained in A2, and it is contained in A3, and contains uh, contained in A4. Okay, now, for example, why an element here is not in the intersection of all of them? A1, intersection A2, intersection A3, Okay, intersection A4. Why why the blue dot is not in this set? Because look, what is the blue dot? The blue dot belongs to A4 and belongs to A1, but it doesn't belong to A3. See, and it belongs to A2, but it doesn't belong. So let me, this is A3. It is the one circled in red. Okay, and see the blue dot is outside it. So it, it shouldn't be in the intersection of all of them because the intersection is the set of elements which belong to all of them, to every single set in the collection. Okay, so now let's uh, see how would we uh, compute the, the intersection of, of, uh, of, what, of infinitely many sets. So suppose you have just... Suppose you have A1, a set, A2, another set, A3, a third set, and so on. A100, and this list don't, it doesn't stop. So you have infinitely many sets. Now let's compute the intersection of AI, where I ranges from 1 to infinity, which means intersection of A1, A2, A3. Or another way to say it, it is the intersection of AI where I belongs to Z plus. So the, this I is a positive integer. What is it? It is the set of all objects X where, where X belongs. So you want, you want this that X belongs to A1 and X belongs to A2 and X belongs to A3 and so on. And X belongs to A100. You want those elements which belong to everyone in the this infinite list to be in the intersection and that's it only those so this is the set of objects x such that for every i in the positive integers x is in ai okay this means that x is in every ai in every set okay it's in this one and in this one and in this one and in this one and so on Okay, let's take a quick example of computing first finite many set, finitely many sets. So suppose A contains even numbers less strict less than 10, 0 from 0 to 8. Okay. 4, 6, and 8. And B is the set containing 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. 0, 1, 2, 3, and 4. And C is the set containing 0, 3, 6, 9. 3, 6, 9. Okay, now what is the union of A? 
A union, B union C. By definition, the union of three sets is the set of elements which are contained in at least one of them. So zero is here because it's contained in A. Similarly for two, four, six, and eight. Okay. Also one should be here because it's contained in B. Okay, three should be here because it's contained in B. And what else? And nine should be here. Okay, so this is C. Every element in this union is here because it is either in A or in B or in C. Okay, for example, eight is in A. Nine is in B. No, sorry, nine is in C. Three is in B and in C as well. And these are all the elements which are contained in at least one of them. Okay. So, for example, 7 is not an element in the union. Why? Because 7 is not in A and not in B and not in C. Okay. And remember, the union you should be an element of at least one. But 7 is an element of none of them. Okay. So, it shouldn't be in the union. Now let's see what is the intersection A, intersection B, intersection C. The intersection is the set of all elements which are contained in every set in your collection. So we have three sets here. Which elements belong to A and belong to B and belong to C? Okay, see here, let's see, zero is there. Zero is in A, it is in B, it is in C. Okay, two is not in the intersection because it's not in C. 3 is not because it's not in A, 6 is not, and 9 is not. So the only elements, element which are in all of them is 0. Okay, so this is the set containing one element, which is 0. Okay. Now let's take final example for infinite sets, union and intersection of infinite sets. Let me uh, tell you how we will have... Uh, what are our infinite sets? I'm saying that uh, suppose let i be a positive integer. So 1, 2, 3, 4, and so on. Define the set A indexed by i to be the set of all integers from 0 to i. 0, 1, 2, 3, up to i. Okay, for example, let's let's uh, compute some AIs. What's A1? It is the set of integers from 0 to 1. So 0 and 1. What's A2? It is the set of integers from 0 to 2. 0, 1 and 2. Okay, what's A3? This is the set of integers from 0 to 3. 0, 1, 2 and 3. Okay, so we have infinitely many such sets. We start with A1, A2, A3 a4 and so on now we want to compute the union of all of them what is the union of a i where i ranges from 1 to infinity which means it is a1 union a2 union a3 and so on so this is just notation but what is the set it is the set of elements which are in at least one of them okay now zero is here because it's in A1. 1 is here because it's in A1. 2 is in the union because it's in A2. 3 is in the union because it's in A3. It sh you, should be, you should belong to at least one of them to be in the union. And 4 is here because it's in A6, for example. 5 is here because it's in A5, and so on. So what is this set? What is the set 0, 1, 2, 3, and so on? This is the set of natural numbers. So the union of all these sets gives you the natural numbers. Okay, so why every natural number is in at least one of them? Simply because uh, if you choose any natural number n, you will find that n, uh, you will find that n belongs to a n where a n is the set from 0 up to n, right? It's the last element in this set. So uh, uh, every element in the natural numbers is in some a n, is in some set in your sequence. Okay, now let's compute the intersection. 
what is the intersection of these sets where we have infinitely many sets so this is a1 intersection a2 intersection a3 and so on so the best way to do it is to look at these sets here are the sets okay what first you need to recall what is the intersection the intersection is the set of all elements which are in all these sets they are in a1 they are in a2 they are in a3 and so on okay so these are the sets so which elements are in all of them see for example 3 is not in the intersection why 3 is not in the in the intersection because it's not in all of a1 a2 a3 a4 namely it's not in a2 for example right a2 doesn't contain 3 okay the only uh, elements which are in all of them are 0 and 1 okay 0 and 1 are in a1 and 0 and 1 are in a2 0 and 1 are in a3 and so on 0 and 1 are in all of them so the intersection will be the set containing just two elements 0 and 1